Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Eastward. Hope you all are looking forward to this one, I know I am. Let's, uh, let's dive on in. Let's see what our current quest is. Looks like, uh, Yuva's already finished making dinner, so we're gonna go back to Greenberg now. I guess we probably could just... Fast travel up there, huh? May as well. Save us a little bit of walking time. And see what Uva's got for dinner here. I her house is up here. Well, she's not at her house. I wonder where she made dinner at then. Maybe in the mayor's area. I bet that's where she is. Oh. Ah, oh, you're back. And tired as the wings of a bird, I'm sure. Dinner's already ready. Come, let's eat. Good time. I just had some pretty great breakfast myself. It was a real long scene there. That took a sec to get here. And that, that is when John raised the mighty key of destiny and plunged it into the bowels of that great piece of machinery, laying bare the secret passage of the evil mayor had kept hidden for many a century. Key of Destiny? Oh wow, that's... Huh, what's that? It sounds so cool. The Key of Destiny is none other than the great and holy rod John ripped from the back of the giant pot crab. I just came up with the name myself. Hoo hoo, not bad, is it? But back to the story. You see, what no one could have expected, no, what no one in their wildest dreams could have envisioned, was that at that exact moment, the evil mayor would rear his ghastly head and corner us in that tunnel. <laughs> oh no. It was then that I knew what I had to do. With a great and mighty yell, I screamed, Run, you two! I shall hold back this heinous fiend. Sam. Hey, I don't remember this part. Good old Sam. Good old Sam. How long is he going to keep talking? And just when we got those two together for dinner, at this rate, Uva's not even going to get a word in with John. Yeah, true that. Emily, go get that Jasper fellow and bring him out here, would you? What? Why me? Get someone else to do it. You and him were getting along sure as syrup earlier. In fact, I heard you say more to him than you've ever said to Pop all year. Ugh, seriously? What do you expect, you old fuddy-duddy stick in the mud? How could you and I have anything to talk about? You wanna say that again? Jesus. Emily dear, this isn't about you, nor is it about your father. This is about Uva. This is Uva's big chance. Come now, be a dear, wouldn't you? Oh, I see what's going on. All I've got to do is get Jasper out here, right? I'll do it. But I'm doing it for Uva, not for any of you. That's fucked up, dude. That's real fucked. Jasper! Oh, Emily, you're just a time. Come sit. I was just relaying a tale of great adventurous underground. Come out for a sec, would you? I need you for something. I I haven't finished the story yet. Oh, pish and squat. Just get out here. These sayings that they use. What's this? Why are you all waiting out here? We want you to tell us your story about Pock Rock Isle. Heavens, you do? You? I think I. I think I. I'm falling in love. God damn it, Jasper. Now then, where would you like me to begin, hmm? Ah, yes. How about the part where I verbally accost the detestably evil mayor? Detestably. There we go. I can read. I can read sometimes. This game sure does have a lot of dialogue in it. Especially in all the cutscenes and everything. Uh, hold on a sec. You... Would you like to come to my place? I mean, it's not... It's not that it can be quite dangerous on the mountain at night, so I thought letting Sam sleep at my place might be better. I'll, um, 
Take that as a yes. Anyway, follow me. My house is just north of the water. Jill just literally never says anything, does he? Uva seems pretty sweet, though. Here we are. Come in, come in. Alrighty, we will. Sam just fucking out. Poor thing. Must have been so tuckered out. John, let me handle it. <laughs> so sweet. She's going to grow up into an amazing woman someday. Let's just let her rest for now, don't worry. I'll take care of her. Alright, cool. John's just walking away all weird. What? Oh, what's going on? What are you three doing here? What? What? When did you three get here? We've been here the whole time, dear. Yep. Did you put little... Curly Q's sweet little head on that bed? That's so weird. Initiate the plan, girls. What are they doing? Man, what's going on here? What are you three trying to do here? Your battle uniform, Uva. You need your battle uniform. Battle uniform? You want me to wear this? Is it awful? Jesus. Hee <laughs> hee. You look absolutely stunning. Just like me when I was young. But it's so inconvenient. Do we really have to wear this? Don't be naive. And don't be yourself either. What the hell? People are weird. You must be nothing but darling and sweet. As helpless as a baby bird. These people are crazy. Got you. Now you. <laughs> God damn it, Sam. You remember what I taught you, dear? Look that boy straight in the eye, grab his shoulder, and ever so sweetly say, Oh my, it's ever so cold. Jesus Christ. Can't take it. Got shivers down my whole backside. Say it again. Say it again. Oh my goodness. Wow, we diggity. You still got the stuff, sis. That boy's gonna fall head over heels for you with moves like that. <laughs> Baseball name? That's such a weird name. Run along now, Uva. You mustn't let that boy get away. John's just running. Look at him run away. John! Are you going back already? I suppose what I mean to say is, would you stay with me a while? These lights, they're pretty bright, yes? I installed them myself just last month. I mean, no, haha, I didn't do it myself, of course. I asked, uh, Bowman to install them for me. Just be yourself, Uva, goddamn. You think you would like to stay here, John, in the village? We have a quest to go on. I don't think we can. There's a little plot of land behind the barn. We could build a little boat there. Grow wheat in the field in the spring. Raise a chicken or two. It's pretty sweet. Oh, I accidentally skipped that. Did I say it wrong? Oh my. Is it ever cold? Yes. Yes, it is ever cold. I no good, huh? That was perfect. It was great. I'll watch after Sam, John. You don't have to worry. Alright, fine. I guess we just go back to our little our little hut now, huh? Interesting little scene there. Doesn't let us fast travel for some reason. John, you walk so slow, my man. Oh, those are cool. 
Place is pretty at night though. Dawn's just out. Gonna cut see what Uva looks like. Shorter night does not exist than that of fleeting moonlight. Pray tell, what ails you, my lady? Oh, is that fucking Jasper being a weirdo? Yep, it's Jasper being a weirdo. Jesus. Jasper? <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, no. I know not this individual of whom you speak. Mm, then you are... Golden eyes like spotlights, illuminating the crime in the darkness. Fresh blood, a vivid testament to the battle that had transpired. Tis none other than I, Night Stalker. I see. Um... Anything you need, Mr. Night Stalker? Do not hide your inner turmoil from me. Do not let these feelings of anguish pervade your life. Nay, take the advice of this night caped cavalier instead. You must never allow others to decide your fate for you. Should you ever disagree with a recommendation given to you, you must say so loud and clear. Disagree? I, uh, hmm. I think there may have been some sort of misunderstanding, Jasper. Uh, I mean, Mr. Night Stalker. Misunderstanding? Whatever do you mean? I mean, it's... I didn't disagree with anything. Ah, I see. Then you were simply embarrassed, were you? I... I like John a lot. You like him? I, that's... I didn't didn't get that sense at all. But I do have to thank you, Mr. Night Stalker. Yes, for what you've just said. Thank you. Because you know what? I do need to take off my mask. There's no reason to be someone I'm not. Truth that. Take off your mask? <laughs> Fucking Jasper. <laughs> yes, yes. I can see now that I was worrying far too much. You certainly take care of yourself. Now then, I shall bid you adieu until next, until we meet next, my dear. Bye, Mr. Night Stalker. Goodness gracious, I nearly had a heart attack. That move is something else. For a moment, I thought she'd see through my disguise. Pretty sure, she, pretty sure she saw through it from the start. I'll say. That's that's not possible. You don't think so, do you, Emily? I um. Anyway, I mean, you three had enough already. Uva clearly likes the guy. Had enough. We say that as though we don't have a more obligation to watch over this village's youngins. I've said it once, I'll say it again. You guys are nothing but a bunch of fogies. Watch your mouth. She does have a point, you know. Perhaps we should leave the youngsters to deal with their own problems. I certainly didn't like having someone watching over my shoulder when I was young. <laughs> Not you too. Let's just give it a rest. Uba can certainly take care of herself. Very true. There isn't a man who wouldn't like Uva on this green earth. I will say though, Jasper, that wasn't half bad. Getting Uva to finally say what's on her mind, I mean. That, I mean... It was all the work of the Night Stalker. There isn't a person in all the world capable of resisting the Night Stalker's charm. Jasper, you're a weird one, you are. You're a weird one. What do we got here? A uh, little birdie.
John, John. And oh, damn it, Sam. Sam just yelling and screaming first thing in the morning. John, something big happened. Oh no, what? Is there any way we can help, Uva? When it comes to knocking a few heads, John's basically a master. I'd be willing to go to the Blimping Ranch, John. Miller came running out into the village this morning. It seems his poor Blimpigs have flown the coop. Bowman's already left to investigate, but... I thought if there was anyone who could help him, it'd be you, John. That is probably true. You only went to town on those Blimpigs yesterday. You don't think you scared them right off, do you? Blimpigs are normally very docile. Something must have happened to spook them. Spook, spook, spook. You don't think it was a monster, do you? I can't be sure. We don't usually tread too far into the forest here. That's the mountain god's territory. Guess you and me will have to put those piggies back in their pen, John. Let's go get the blimp kid. Let's go get the blimp pigs back. All right, let's go. Ah, wait. The forest. It can be incredibly dangerous. Take this. It's not much, but I should at least help out against the beast you run into out there. Okay. Well, thank you, Uva. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it's a gun. She just hands over a fucking gun. Well, I mean, now that we've got a gun, also. You haven't eaten any breakfast yet, right? I made these sandwiches for you. You need to keep your strength up, you know? Uva, you're too sweet. Boom. Sandwich stop spot. Pan fish. Check it out in your the fish sandwich. Check it out in your backpack. Alright. Good old fish sandwich. Alright. Off we go to the ranch then. Oh shit. Why would that be automatically selected? That's the best up. Now let's see what's going on here. The fence done clean smashed in. You don't think it was that green piggy from earlier, do you? Could be. Someone tells me. Tells me it's something bigger. I'll get you going on like that. Ain't nothing but a little piggy escapes all. We all gotta do is find him again. No harm. No foul. We're here. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bowman's here too. Uva said something happened at the Blimp Pig Ranch. So we thought we'd drop by and see if we could help. Shh. Look it. There. The green one. Oh my goodness, he looks so ridiculous. That one. That's the little poor kind delinquent. Alright. Blockhead. You scare the little sucker right into the forest. Don't worry, we'll catch him. Just leave it to John. Yeah, leave it to John. But the forest! It's dangerous! Nah, we got this, we got this. You'll find more than a few critters in there. All the more reason why we're the perfect ones to do it. You should have seen John back underground. He was a monster whacking machine. Underground. Well, you're that dead set. I ain't gonna stop you. Hey, this ain't some game, you know. Don't think they're planning on playing games by the looks of them. Unless that game involves deadly weapons. <laughs> Wait, isn't that Uva's gun? You may not know much about the old fisty cuffs, but I do know that Uva's got a keen eye on her. She trusts you? Well, then I trust you. So go and teach that bad piggy a lesson he won't soon forget. Alright. Fine. Aye aye. Just leave it to us. Just make sure you watch your ammo. Without it, that thing ain't nothing but a rusty old stick. And don't be out too late. Harvest Festival's tonight. Alright. Harvest Festival, here we come. After after this, of course. Who we got? How do I 
switch characters again? There we go. Ooh, there we go. We do need one of those. Another one of those little golden bugs. These little mushroom bees are pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie. Why are you back here? Come on. Got him. Easy. There's another chest up there. Is there anything down here? I should check the map. It looks like we can go up first. This guy looks pretty mean. He's got to open at some point, right? I don't like those things. On a gear pot. Ow. Not cool, dude. <laughs> Those are fucking funny, though. What do we have down yonder? Uh, nothing, I guess. Huh. A weird one. Like it's a mini puzzle of some sort. I think I see how to do this. Easy. Man, we're good. Look at all those bad boys up there. Oh, there he is. This <laughs> is a little grumpy looking dude. Alright, well, we're in a little cave now. Okay, so we have to unlock the door, probably by going this way. Oh, I think I have to charge up the second I get there, so it's... so we're ready. Huh? I drop a bomb again, bro. Oh, there we go. Come on. There's something. I don't quite know how to go that way yet. Oh god, these things. you, buddy. Okay. Now I see. Okay. Come on, Sam. I don't know why this is over here. So be it. What if we learn more magic-y things? Oh shit. Okay, so we do have to use these right now. 
Boom. Alright. So we can go... Secret passage somewhere. There's a secret something. Oh, okay. I bet we can break this. And it goes... It leads us somewhere. Nope. Well, that was probably the best guess I'll ever get. Um, anything back this way? I don't know if there's anything this way or not. It does look like it goes deeper in. Okay, the secret's up here. Let's go figure it out. I don't know what the secret is, but we'll we'll figure it out. It's a locked door, though. How do we get? How do we get through the locked door? I don't have the key. And I don't even vaguely know where the key is. Interesting. Keep an eye out for a key. This gun's pretty fun, though. Alright, no monster. That's good. Uh oh. We'll just keep doing this. One at a time. Yeah, you guys suck. Still more of them? They're little butts. Why do they have little butts? It destroyed. Got him. Absolutely perfect. I want that key. I need to figure out where that key is. Is the key? Oh. I believe that's the key. There was a door up there. The game wants us to go... No, I don't know where the game wants us to go. Maybe we're supposed to go that way. There's a there's a mystery over there though. We have the key, so there's that. There's no hidden walls this way. It's like right here. There's something right here. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's this way? Okay. Hello? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Onward we go, I suppose. Yeah, I get destroyed, little bugs. You ain't nothing. Oh. 
That one hurts. How do I eat? Yeah, let's eat that sandwich Uva gave us. Good old Uva. Fuck you. Back outside, it looks like. It destroyed. Destroyed, you suck. Oh, that was a close one. He almost got us. Almost fooled us there. Ah. Yeah. It destroyed. Oh shit, little mushroom hurts. Look at the map to see. Ooh, okay, so there's an area to the right and an area to our left. Let's definitely go here first. Got some lettuce? Alright. Damn, there's a lot of little monsters right here. Another hard orb? Do we go up one? No, we don't go up one. Unfortunate. I for sure thought we were gonna go up a level there in hearts. I think we need one more. Let's run past these guys this time. Running, running, running. I feel like these little eye dudes are important. I think they just give us the gold, though. Or salt, whatever it is. I think it's salt. Oh my god, look at this guy go. A little grumpy dude. There are a ton of monsters in here. Don't forget that chest we just saw, too. Run past most of these guys, I think. Always get the chests. Watch him, watch him. I think that was the only way for us to go. Fuck yeah. Uh, what's this? It looks like another little puzzle. I need to get something out of the way somewhere. on here. Oh shit. We're gone, I guess. See you guys. We get off here. Does not seem like it. Well, off we go. Ooh, ominous pretty music. is cool. Some lettuce. We can save right here. This here is a forest. If you cut down a tree, it'd still be a forest. But what if you cut down half the trees? What if you only leave a single tree? When is a forest no longer a forest? Yeah, we'll save our memories. Why can't they cook? Because I'm not John. Ooh, this. Just 
It looks like a breakfast. Let's see what it is. I, s I need to get a perfect dish someday, you know? That'd be cool. This cooking music's still pretty vibin'. What do we get? Oyakodon? I haven't actually ever made Oyakodon. I should probably make Oyakodon. They go write that down. We need to make that. Um, I can make one more thing. What if I just do eggs? Is this just gonna be a giant egg? Ooh, two tomato. I don't know what that means, but we did it. It's just gonna be just a bunch of eggs. Steamed eggs. I'll be. All right, that's about it. We need to get all these recipes. We have to. Looks like there's a bed right here. Rest? Yeah, sure. It's the you've slept sound, I guess. Guess it restores all of our shit, probably, huh? That'd make- that'd make sense. And let's do another save because we did cook. Alright. Off to see what's this way. It would take you forever to walk if you did that the whole time. Under the waterfall we go. Over there, quick. We're going, we're going. As quick as we can. I lied. I do that first. What is this? A little vending machine? Huh. Got a feeling that, uh... We're gonna fight something in here. What is this place? Over there, John! It's a, uh, a monster! Holy fuck it is, a monster. 